Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. Boy, I want to show you a plugin today that has really blown me away and has helped me in solving some mixing problems that no other plugin has solved for me. It is Coldfire, Dist Coldfire by Atoria, an amazing plugin that's actually free for Studio One Pro 7 license holders for the month of November. I'm gonna tell you about that at the end of this video. So what is Coldfire exactly? Well, it's basically a dual distortion processing effect plugin, if you will. And um, both of these are basically identical units. They can load up to 11 distortion types, but then you can basically blend between them in various ways. You can, for example, have them in a classic serial setup where one goes into the other, but it can also be parallel where they work both at the same time. It can be in stereo, like one is processing the left channel and one is processing the right channel. It can be mid-side and a lot of other things. And there's also a ton of awesome modulation capabilities. The best way to get started with this incredible tool, I feel, is with the presets that it comes with. So here I have a pretty basic 808 loaded with not a lot of overtones. And I have the Coal Fire plugin already inserted on this channel here. Let me double click that to open. And let me just activate it. You can already hear how much more overtones this is generating, right? This kind of muffled and harmless 808 is turning into a beast. This is thanks to the wave folder working its magic here. And when I click on this arrow, I can replace the wave folder with something else. For example, a wave shaper. Notice how the UI is really responding when I turn up the drive. It's almost like a boombox, right? And it's a scalable UI as well, which I really enjoy. And generally the best way to start, I feel, with these kind of plugins is always with the presets. So let's just click through a couple of them. You already get a sense of the incredible variety that you get. This is also a very interesting one. What has really impressed me specifically about this plugin are the rich modulation capabilities that it has. To show you that, I imported a drum loop on my second track here. And here I have the hard sequence preset loaded. So you can basically, after installing this plugin, just select the hard sequence preset. I think you find that under the modulation chapter and you can follow along because it's so much fun, honestly. Let me just turn it on. It's already so good, right? And you might wonder what the heck is going on. And uh, it's actually a bit more clear when you click here where it says advanced. This is really where this plugin is differentiating itself from a lot of other distortions. Because you have these incredible modulation sources. For example, function, where you can draw in your own rhythmic pattern, like this. What? Together with the bass line. That would make for an incredible bridge. There's also a step sequencer and a ton more of modulation capabilities. The best way to learn about this plugin is to just try it out. Another thing that I really love this Cold Fire for is solving mixing problems, specifically introducing overtones to low bass lines that need to be more audible. Let me show you. This is a song production of mine where I was struggling to get the 808 bass line audible, especially on smaller speakers, which don't have a lot of bass and low end frequency response. So you can hear, this is my bass line. On its own, it actually sounds pretty nice. But especially at lower volumes and when the arrangement is playing, it can be very muffled. It just doesn't have the definition that I'm looking for. 
And it plays a very important theme in the music, so I really want that counterpoint progression that the bass line is playing to be more audible. And this is really where Aturia, this cold fire, has been such a game changer for me because it really enriches the harmonic content and the overtones of that 808. You see, if I would try to do this with an equalizer, for example, it wouldn't really work because an equalizer can only boost the frequencies that are already there, that are already within the signal. So if there's nothing at, say, one kilohertz or so, then I could boost all I want. And all I do is just increase the level of the noise floor that's sitting at one kilohertz. But I'm not getting any extra harmonics that would help me make the baseline more audible. That's almost nothing. But when I use this cold fire for that, because it has all these amazing wave folders, wave shapers, harmonic distortion to enrich signals, I completely solve this problem with just a few clicks. Check it out. This is without cold fire. This is with. Of course, I can also shift the color and the master controls without. It's not even a comparison, right? And if I don't want to have it overdriven so hard, I can just reduce the drive. Yeah, I'm really running out of superlatives to describe this plugin. It is just solving certain mixing problems that I don't think you can solve any other way. I could boost the volume all I want. I could boost the frequencies in the mid and highs all I want. I would never be able to get close to this result, which is exactly what I wanted. More overtones in the bass line to get that audible also on smaller speakers. And here's the best part. If you're a Studio One Pro 7 license holder, then you can get this incredible plugin for free in the month of November 2025. Here's how. To claim your free Atoria plugin disc cold fire, all you need to do is head over to my.presonus.com between October 29th and November 29th, 2025. Make sure that you have a Studio One Pro 7 license in your account here or your Studio One Pro Plus member. Then head over to the product section right here, click on that and go to third party offers. You're going to see the Atoria disc cold fire plugin right there to register and download. A truly stunning plugin by Atoria. Hats off to them for this amazing addition to their effects collection bundle. Thank you for watching.